The following presentation does not represent Australian opinion or intellect. We do not speak for any religious order or ethnic minority. We are not political scientists or uni graduates. We are insignificant upper lower class scum, comparing notes and airing grievances. It's just our opinion. Deal with it. So GST will ever be part of our policy. Never, ever. Never, ever. It's dead. If they don't like it, go back to where they're part of it. It is a big idea. idea. No, we don't need them. A new world order. Uh, Don't go ready. It's a beautiful by, by 1990, none Australian... Yeah, 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 that fat dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the best of... I always have triple them on the, on, on the radio. What's his name? Uh, some comedian. He's, I don't think he's that fat anymore. But he's just, <laughs> <laughs> what's, that got to, what's that got to do with you being a comedian? No, he's... Oh, are you thinking of... um? Is it Tony Robbins or something? Is that him? Yeah, it's not him. He's Something on there as a special guest sometimes. There's uh, another guy. Wait, isn't Tony yeah. Robbins the... Um, I could be wrong. That, it's be. Paulie Robbins or something. They call him or something. Yeah. Tony Robbins is a motivational yeah, guy. Yeah, a motivational speaker. That's yeah. what I'm thinking the of. The jobless cunt that goes, you know what? <laughs> I want to make man. money. <laughs> With the giant hands. Yeah, man. That guy's <laughs> massive. Yeah. 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 He looks like a like a bad guy in a movie. Like Jaws. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just a Goliath. <laughs> Do you buy that... I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna ask a question. Do you buy that motivational speaker shit? I listen to a few. As in, if I'm just having a shit day or I'm just trying to get through work, I'll listen to. I got some on my phone. But no, on no, YouTube. no, no. I, I couldn't. Li- I couldn't sit I there and listen to you Tony Robbins for fucking. Four Have you hours. seen that hip hop um, motivational speaking? You're the one who talks about the getting the how how bad you want success. Yeah, you too. I, I remember yeah, I played yeah, it for you. Yeah, I played yeah, it on my phone. Him. Yeah, you were away. Yeah, yeah that yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Like that—that that was pretty cool because it's sort of like re- on a real mm. like level. Yeah, I'm talking about like um, Tony Robbins selling the CDs. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start Get your eight journey? DVDs. <laughs> Do you want to start your journey to a life-changing experience? <laughs> Buy now, <laughs> and you get four sets for free. So like, yeah, if you buy it now, man. like they just give, and like- then they charge you ninety nine ninety five for the next twelve months. Uh. Subscribe, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> our twenty pack CD stuff. Like seriously, Tony it's- Robbins guarantees it. <laughs> yeah, man. Like yeah. I've thought about that shit, and I think it's like a lot of the exercise DVDs as well. Mm. Like. If you oh. if you actually do apply it, like and you did it, I'm sure yeah, it'd probably work. But the thing with those thing, those things are like you never actually go through with it because it's just you. Like the thing is, is most of those aren't. It's nothing you can't find out on the internet. Do yeah. YouTube, yeah, YouTube, YouTube. Perfect. Yeah, if you just YouTube personal trainer yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. You get everything. Yeah. Like, Billy yeah. Blanks didn't do that well, man. <laughs> do you remember Billy Blanks? Yeah. Ty, Ty Bo. Ty Bo. Yeah. Billy Blanks. Oh, that's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that guy, like, skinny dude with, yeah. like, the, the lycra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a black guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Billy He's, Blanks. Is, he was... i tell you what, though. He had some moves, but... It was, like, like he, him, him, him and 50 hot bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's probably thinking, oh, yeah. Do you remember, <laughs> do you remember when Ty Bo kicked off? Like, do you remember? It was only a fad. It lasted for man, like, a couple of years. But- I was still working in Huntingdale at that cookie factory, man. Mm. And I remember one summer, like, night, I'm walking, like, up. Like, dude, Huntingdale, like, I've taken you there, I think, once. Huntingdale is just, like, an industrial area between Oakley and Clayton. It's industrial. It's mm. only knock shops. Like, knock shops and warehouses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sexy land. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, there's a, pro- bike, there's proper- a bikey gang around there, too. There's- yeah, there's a compound. Proper yeah. knock shops, man. Like, yeah. I knew we were all of them work. Yeah. Just, every time I was looking for parking, I'd end up parking, like, two <laughs> feet from one. Yeah, but I just remember, so seedy. dude. I remember in high school, Dim man, was the cleaner. You had I was like seventeen, <laughs> man. Seventeen, yeah. hot summer night, and I'm just walking from like the station because I caught the train in from Clayton. Like I couldn't be fucked. I, I had no lift, you know. And as I'm walking up the main strip, you just like, oot, 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 oot. <laughs> okay, girls, bye, boy. I'm like, what the fuck? And as I've gotten to like the the corner sort of, of the the shop fronts, yeah, there's just this like studio, like an aerobic studio, just opened up, doors open, you know, because it's hot and summer, <laughs> windows, everything's just open, man. There's just a row of people, man, in like right, and like, yeah, this chick's still like the fist pumps in the air, like, Henrich, Henrich, like what the fuck's going on, dude? Did you run up and join in, man? I paused for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that's a Thai bow center. Dude, that would have lasted like three months. Let's like, look yeah. up what Billy Blanks is doing these days. Billy Blanks is playing with himself in the Caribbean, man. Do you know how much money he would have made off, off those Swinging fucking videos? Swinging his fucking dick on the beach. Hey, we've got to get through these today, yeah? <laughs> what, what is that? Uh, cigarillos. 
Oh, cigars. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, why that, why it was this have... guy's birthday um, the same day as Indy's. Dude, sorry, man. Nah. Yeah, what for? I didn't even wish you a happy birthday. Stressed. Man, how did that party... Oh, yeah, I asked you, how did that party go, by the way? Uh, yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the play center. I had more fun than the kids, I reckon. <laughs> Dude, play centers are awesome, awesome man. Dude, Dude then a, sl- a big slide and shit. Yeah, like massive Dude, slide. This yeah. one has um. But you have to like take your shoes off. Just in your socks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I go yeah. down with um the twins. They're like, oh, come up here, and I'm trying to squeeze through and like you know jump on there. Man, it's mad fun. You do what? Oh, I'm man. crushed kids. This guy's got like his hoodie on, like hoodie <laughs> t-shirt, Metallic t-shirt, hoodie jeans, like trying to squeeze through. <laughs> but can you imagine him trying to get through that gap? And there's like one of those like. New age dads, like in the fucking bike shop. Oh, fuck out of my way! <laughs> you know I mean? like, okay, Billy, like just pushing his son through. Like, what's this guy doing? He's snag, got the snag, dad. Mate, run down the slide. <laughs> <laughs> just diving just in. Just comes off. <laughs> yeah, man. Palmy. It's fucking first. Dude, this place and it had um like air powered, air powered, air powered like kind of air, air powered guns that you put what? like these foam balls in. It's like called the battle so zone. It's like, so it's like Nerf gun, like that kind of thing. <laughs> no, it's like a big like metal cannon that's powered by like like you dude, push that the is bu- sick. You push, go there. like an air compressor. Dude, of- you push the button, it's like and it like nearly yeah, yeah, yeah it'd be, it'd be air compressors yeah. and like. There's like a bunch of them around like a net, and then there's kids inside the net, and you just have, the aim is to shoot the kids with these fucking. Oh, that is mad! What the fuck? Yeah, it's insane. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. They shoot really fast too. This is a play center for kids. Yeah. So I've never heard of this before ever, man. It's got some kid in the eye. You know? This is a play center for kids where the object of the game is just to shoot. shoot the child with a cannon. Yeah, it's called the, it's called the battle zone. I want in. Are you for real? I'm for real. But it, like, <laughs> I've got to say the balls. They're kind of like uh, like foam balls, like mm. so they're really soft, mm. but they still shoot really fast. Like Do they, they, go, they go really fast. Nah, re- like I'll take some ball bearings. <laughs> it's the kind of material like it shoots really fast, but it feels like a feather's hitting you. It's really cool. Wait, does it actually hit you? If it got you in the eye, it would probably really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what? I want in. Dude, That's- it's like. And it just comes out like a million yeah, miles an hour. You know hour. what's cool, though? If a kid was pissing off like your daughter and stuff, going down, Billy. Yeah, he's just <laughs> aiming for the white kid. He's like, take him on the side of the head. Sir, you have to include everyone in the party. Fucking do 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 Hey, Billy! Yeah. All these, he's these little girls running around, and all these guys are just dropping, like, just around him. Dude, that's <laughs> fucked up. I never... Dude, what? Sick place, I don't know. Four stories, like, of, like, climbing equipment. That's Four sick. stories. Bowling alley upstairs. <clears throat> it's in Chelsea. In Chelsea. Whereabouts in Chelsea? Right near the station. So it's like a Crocs or whatever they call it, because they've got play centers all over the place, but... Wait, isn't that the Chelsea thing, that's ultimate, massive. ultimate Family Fun Centre, UFFC. Mad that's place. M- like UFFC. Best play centre I've been to. That is cool as. I love it. U-F-F-C. Best one you've been to. You've know? <laughs> been, been to a few. You've been to... They all know him. They've got his photo behind the thing. They let this man in. <laughs> you know, he he hurts that kids dad. with the guns. He's that dad. He goes in with disguises <laughs> just to get his daughter into the place. Nah, no, I'm the cool guy. The one that's like doing like running around with the kids and shit. That's cool. Yeah, because oh, you, you see some dancing, One on man. your back. you got one on your back. You're holding one under the arm. And you're like Through pushing the other one. Yeah. Yeah, pushing the other one out. Yeah, man. I'm going to get you, Billy. <laughs> Billy is the yeah, name. Billy, man. I watched, Billy. Um, what did I watch the other night with with Malaka? I watched Hard Target 2. Oh. Mm. <laughs> did you see his face? Mm. <laughs> I'm like an African American. Mm. Like, I want some of that with sprinkles. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I had a mouthful of drink, boys. Oh, you had a mouthful. Yeah. Did you? Um, <laughs> how was it? How was it? I want to know. Um, it's Scott Atkins, you know, from yeah, 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 Expendables yeah. and all yeah. that. He's, dude, he's a gun gun martial artist. Like, he's, he's nuts. I rate him up there easily. Yeah. Like, everything I've seen with him. Boy, is he oh, the boy, dude, boy, 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 yeah. Undisputed is yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. You watch the, the Undisputed movies, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah Arch made me watch them. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. He made me watch them as well, man. Sick movies, though. Dude, he can message me. He's like, you've got to watch them. He's like, pretty sick, huh? <laughs> you know, you know what was screaming that at your wedding? Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, there's um, you know when you ki- you know in, in Russian weddings where the bride and groom kiss, yeah, and the Russians scream out um, yeah, they the what's the word? Uh, Muzzle tough. No, 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 no. no it's, it's like Jew- a, that's it's, Jewish. It's like uh, a Russian thing. It's like um, wedding <laughs> Russian um tradition. I knew it was Jewish. I was just being silly. <laughs> Uh, uh, finally, that was a Russian Jewish wedding. <laughs> so you're not wrong. See, I knew you're that. not wrong. <laughs> um, they uh, yell out. Yeah, uh, they were yelling, and they were, like for us to kiss and stuff. Yeah, like you know when you clink the glass and shit. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. Western weddings, like they they clink the glass. 
um, in Russian weddings, they say, uh, it's ba- I know what it translates to, and it translates to our drink is, a, is like bitter, so your kisses will make the wine like sweet. sweet. That's yeah. what that's what it literally translate translates to. Um, I can't remember what the actual word is, but it sounds like boyka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It's- yeah, it sounds like boyka. And me and, me and maybe Con, they're just saying vodka. Right? No, no, no. They were saying because I, I I know the word. Like I know the word. I've just mental blank right now. Yeah, but everyone was chanting it right to get them to kiss. And me and Con started screaming boyka, and our mate. <laughs> Our mate sitting across the table from us started saying it as well. And then he looked at us like, you know, you guys have watched it as well. And we're just like, boy, God. <laughs> the funniest thing I'll get thing up on the thing and start doing a fly kick. Yeah, man. It was, it was fucking hilarious. That's mad. Um, yeah, no, but back to back to the movie. Uh, Hard, Tar- Hard Target 2. Mm. It's actually... Actually, uh, Alex, man, my mate, he actually mm. messaged me like a year ago. And he said, I got a... A call up to audition for a role in Hard Target Two. What? Yeah. Oh, imagine it's, he got it's that. It's a role. Yeah. And um, is the premise the same? Hunt the people with the fucking arrows. Yeah, it is. But good. that's a, good. That's good. It's I a, like that. It's a bit different. Like they um, they get dropped off in the jungle, and there's only one dude to hunt, which yeah. is um, Scott Atkins. But all the actors in it, like <laughs> I looked them all up. Like as we're watching it, I'm like, this guy looks for me. Oh, it was in the final scene. And I'm like, man, this guy looks hard, like one of the bad guys. Okay, this guy looks fucking hard, man. He looks like he's like Kiwi or something, you know, like a bouncer. And we're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I looked it up, and it was the guy from um, Once Were Warriors. Oh, Jake the Mus. Oh, Jake the yeah, Mus. Jake the Mus. Oh, it mad. was him. I'm like, it's him. <laughs> and then I looked up the rest of the cast, and they're all Aussies. They're all Aussie yeah. actors. Was he a good actor in that? Because he's great in Once Were Warriors. Yeah, he's, he's tough, that's, man. He's a fucking dude, Once Were Warriors is fucked. Oh, dude, that's... Oh, dark, dude, dark movie. I love dark. watching... I've, I've got it on DVD. I've got I've, one and two. Yeah, I have it on DVD too. Yeah. It's a great I, movie. You know what, man? We we killed that movie when this guy lived in the unit yeah. with uh, the other guys. Every every time we'd go to the unit, it'd either be blood, 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 blood in, blood out. out. Um, once, some, someone would be playing uh, FIFA, yeah. yeah, or it'd be Once the Warriors. Man, that was it. Like, that was on repeat. Kind of, kind of sounds like the bungalow day. Dude, uh, three, th- two of the darkest movies of all time. I yeah. repeat um, at my I house. Watched, <laughs> I watched Once Were Warriors just one too many times, man. Yeah. And I, I haven't watched yeah. it since. Uncle yeah. Bully. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Bully. <laughs> oh, Uncle <dude>. Bully. <laughs> dude. That scene, man. Oh, but, so yeah, good. like sometimes it comes up in conversation, that movie, and then I'm like... <sighs> Uncle Bully's hmm. actually an established actor now. Dude, he's proper. Actor, I read like an article a, about him about a year or two ago. What's his actual name? He, dude, he's, a, he's a Kiwi. Yeah, but he's in but America. He's he, in the States. He's actually got the rep and maybe even a record for playing the most diverse amount, uh, playing the most diverse amount of uh, character actors mm. worldwide. Dude, he's in um talented dude. Yeah, I looked him up. Yeah, because I'm like, because I was reading the article. I'm like, wow, is that him? Like, mm. I tripped out. He plays like a, a, an Iraqi or a Kurd. Yeah, in uh, Three Kings. Have you yep. seen Three Kings? Yeah, yeah. Great movie, yeah? yeah. Yeah. He plays an Iraqi in that. Well, an Arab, anyway. He plays uh, Training Day. Do you remember Training Day? Yeah. 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 Do you remember the Mexicans that, that jump um, at the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's one, one of them. them. Yeah, he's one the of main them. dude. Oh, he no goes, shit. Say, you're so lucky. This, yeah. is your, this is your lucky day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he plays the role so well, you just don't even know it's him. He's, he com- yeah. he's completely devoted to character acting His and method Cliff acting. Cliff Curtis. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a Kiwi. And a bully. Yeah, he <laughs> does, doesn't look like a Cliff Curtis. <laughs> nah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, like, I remember like um, there was an article on him on the net as well after the one came out in the paper and it coincided like, as in, it was coinciding with some movie release, you know. Hit the video and they just did like a showreel of like all the roles and man, like diverse as fuck, man. Like, like dude, he's, he's been in some like serious movies. Like it's not just yeah. And the, the dude, majest- training, training day was massive. Yeah. It was in Blow. He's played Pablo Escobar. Oh, that's in that's, that's what oh, I'm yeah, thinking. Of. That's, yeah, what yeah. I, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I was trying to think of it the whole time. Three yeah. Kings, he's played, Dude, he uh, plays the majestic collateral damage, like proper movies. Just man. in there, man. He plays yeah. a Kiwi in in um, What's the Warriors, and he yeah. fuck man, that that role was <laughs> fucked. Yeah, and then he's yeah Pablo Escobar, Colombian. Then he plays um like an Arab in in three uh, Three Kings. Three Kings is gold. Yeah. Yeah, that scene where um, they're interrogating uh, Mark Wahlberg. I don't remember. I've seen it. But what is it on with Michael it. Jackson's face? You don't remember that scene with the, with the actually, oil? Actually, now that you say that, I vaguely <laughs> do remember that. King, King of Pop. <laughs> hey, yeah, how that. good is this guy, man? He's in, a gun. In 2016, like this year, right? He had a movie released called Risen, right? He played Jesus. <laughs> he he the guy's a gun. 
He's, he's unbelievable. So he went from Pablo Escobar. What can't he do? Yeah, he's... Like, Jesus. <laughs> like, no joke. Just when you thought he couldn't do anymore, he was Jesus. <laughs> he was Jesus. <laughs> he was Jesus, man. Yeah, man. He was Jesus. Dude. Give the man an Oscar or something. Jeez. <laughs> Give the man something. That's unbelievable. Yeah, man. That's wicked. No, really talented. Once the Warriors, though, that whole movie just feels so real. Like, the acting in that is yeah. just on point, the whole yeah. movie. like Because, yeah. <clears throat> dude, I grew up with a lot of guys like that, man. Yeah. That, dude, you go into Westall, and that's what it looked like, Dude, Westall Secondary <laughs> was Once We're Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> just that school was Once We're Warriors, man. Yeah, man. Do you ever see, do you ever see some, like, Polynesians and stuff out in the gully? I actually um, mean to ask you this, man, because, like, they used to go, like, I don't know if you remember it, man, but do you remember when, back in, like, 97... 98, when the gang culture in yeah. Melbourne was really, really yeah. big. Yeah. And it was basically... Re- it was basically the only gangs in 97, 98, other than established organised crime, mm. right? The All the hooligan-level sort of shit and just minor drug mm. to medium drugs, it was all wog-orientated, or um, like hey. a lot of Greeks yeah. and a lot of uh, Turks and a lot of Albanians. Yeah. And then you had the Polynesian dudes, Yeah. yeah? They're mostly like Samoans and stuff like that, and like Tongans, mm. and the Vietnamese and the, and the Cambodians, you know, from Springy and like Richmond and shit, yeah? Mm-hmm. Dude, the Cranbourne, the Pakenham Cranbourne line, man, notorious. Like, yeah. in 97, 98 in Melbourne, man, if you got on the station between like Westall Station to Dandenong- Don't have luck. a phone or a wallet on you. Dude, you you were fucked. Yeah. You were fucked. The yeah. Cuzzies owned that line, man. Like, that. that's the way it was. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's like straight it's up. It's not even joking, straight up. dude. Yeah. Not even joking. Yeah. I'm not being racist. No. I'm just telling you, this was like an epidemic in Melbourne. Like, yeah. if you want to talk about- ter- And it just happened to be like two minutes down the road from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to talk about territorial divide, yeah. like in Melbourne, as far as like that minor urban hooligan mm. shit. Right like there. That, yeah, that line, man, that was the Cuzzy line. That's what I was going to ask you, man. In the gully, did you have Polynesian community? Yeah, I was just thinking, not 100% no. I didn't, I didn't have any even friends or mm. know anyone at my school. Because mm. like, you know what? Like, man, at a high school, it was like, they were, like, it was massive. You know? yeah. I played yeah. basketball. My basketball team in 97, 98, 99, mostly made up People of Polynesians. People you white boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was. Dude, I was the one skinny Greek kid that used to play basketball yeah. with like all the Asians and the Tongans. You know? yeah. <laughs> and that's why I learned how to shoot from the outside because there was no way I was going to drive on the dudes. Right? Yeah. They were just too big. Go through a brick wall. Like, no, yeah, no, 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 I don't think so. No chance. But the, interestingly enough, man, like they started, everyone started getting, when, especially Clayton, like with gentrification and stuff, when the suburbs started getting effectively not cleaned up, but they, like they raised, you know, the, um, the drains, yeah, you know, behind. Yeah, that's a park now. Yeah, and- it's like a park, a waterways and all that sort of shit. It, it, it's become mm. too expensive. Bentley pushed over into Clayton, so Clayton became really expensive or more expensive. Mm. And everyone started getting shelved out. Like if you go through Westall, dude, five years ago, for me and this guy went for a bike ride through Westall. Urban slum, man. Like, it was bad. Like, <laughs> now, bad. It's, now, you can buy... Cul-de-sacs, man. You can't buy anything under 800000 Let me do some research for you. Yeah. I'll do some research. Especially in Clayton. Oh, not, forget it. A three-bedroom brick will Dude. set you back six fifty minimum. Six fifty dollars minimum. minimum. So, the riffraff just gets pushed out. Yeah. Like, and, so and much basically, over. yeah. All the Samoans <laughs> and, and, like, the Polynesians anyway, man. They started moving from Clayton, Westall. And now, where are they, man? Uh, like Hampton, stuff. Hampton, yeah, Hallam. Hampton Park, Cranny. sorry, Hampton, Hampton Park, Hampton Cranny. Park, yeah, Hampton. Good luck there. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Oh, I went to Hampton the other week. What were you doing in Hampton? Oh, like two. Did weeks you find back. a video in your back pocket? You're like, I'm rich. I actually picked up a dining table from Hallam, uh, Hampton, someone's house. What gum tree? Yeah, mad. What does set you back? Like three fifty, but it's mint. Like it's fucking sick. Of course it is, man. Yeah, it's Dude, that's like um, ca- it's what's it called? Um, where did we get this table from for the dojo? Was it oh, Campbellwell? Campbellwell. Oh, Q, Q, Q. Yeah, Q. yeah, yeah. Do you know what's really funny? I was thinking about this the other day, and it's funny that you say that you got the table from Q because I've bought like a bunch of shit online and helped mates pick up stuff from online, and every single time it's been from like rich areas and really nice houses. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, because we got the so table. It's like it's not just scumbags selling. Like it's <laughs> no, no, no. You know no, what no. I mean? Like people with money, like. Dude, they sell the shit, day like- we picked up this table with some Q, all right, because I remember, because I called everyone, and this guy had the van, I'm like, all right, I'll meet you out there. I'll meet you, with a- I can't remember, I think I met him here, and then we drove, like, out there, yeah. and we're going around in circles and circles, and we finally found it. As soon as we got there, this guy cracked the shit, <laughs> like, he lost it. He's like, the size of this cunt's house. <laughs> yeah. It's like us, like, he's making us drive here to grab it, uh. <laughs> and then- 
Yeah. I lost it. That's how I feel. I lost it. Fuck this, he goes, I need a smoke. <laughs> I need a smoke. He goes, we're not going here until I have a smoke. <laughs> and it out. pissed me off. <laughs> he had like $150,000 worth of cars in his driveway. Like, good cars. <laughs> I'm like, look at the size of his house, his man. His house making us drive for 30 bucks. And then when we went out the back to see the table, violins were going on. Yeah, yeah, there were violins. Like typical you know, rich people paying for violin lessons. <laughs> like we thought of every like stereotypical slur we could think of, man. It was fucking hilarious. But then when we saw the table, we just both freaked out. Because I tried to lift it. I'm like, there's no way I can lift it. Like, look, look, feel it. I mean, but we had to pull it apart. It's, it's a solid bitch. This, yeah, no, this table is fucking solid, man. But what and a find. Yeah, what's what a what find. What do you reckon this is worth, this table? Like, brand new? Or yeah, just, like, what oh. do you reckon that dude would have paid for it, man? Oh, over a crane. Easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, easy. And like, the, we got scot free pretty much, dude, like 40 bucks. Over a grand bucks. minimum, yeah. and we paid 30 bucks for it. And yeah. the guy stuck around to help us pull it apart yeah. and lift it into the thing, man. Yeah. He actually helped, which is nice. Like, he, he helped. <laughs> he kind of got in the way more. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so, fucking uh, put it down, uh, Pretty right? much like, like, my like, come on, man. Dude, man. <laughs> it's, 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 like, me and Dylan got this, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. he was, he was he a was, small dude. Like, he wasn't. Yeah, he was a smallish dude, man. But I just laughed <laughs> because remember when we were looking for shit like that? Yeah. We called a guy in Clayton. Yeah. What did they want? They either told us it wasn't for sale. It wasn't for sale anymore. It wasn't for sale anymore. Yeah, the ad had only gone up yeah. like that day. It's like, hey, not for sale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, what? Us. <laughs> or like, there was something that looked really reasonably shitty in like the photo and I've called up and they wouldn't budge on the price. Like, yeah. no, you know, fuck off. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> do you want it gone or not? <laughs> nah. But having said that, the guy in Q, man, can we, see, why have I passed these out? We haven't sparked them up. I'm not smoking this about one of those rich guy cutters that cuts the end of the cigar off. You don't need to do that. This isn't a cigar. It's a cigarillo. I insist, cigarillo. I insist on the cutter. But you don't no, need but, it. But you can't because if you cut it, then you'll just be smoking like... No cutter, no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I no cutter, no butter, buddy. <laughs> what the fuck? So, <laughs> I'm not a suave gentleman. <laughs> So last time I had, last time I had one of these was in a spa and I dragged like actually like dragged yeah, it. You like, shouldn't have done that. And it gave me a really bad headache. So I'm I'm just tasting it, right? Is that what we're doing here? I don't smoke, but I can smoke. I bought these. <laughs> I bought these. Are we having a tasting sesh? <laughs> ah, it's all right. It's not bad. Um, dude, the, you don't need to cut the tips off these. You cut them off like cigars because it's got the rounded yeah, off end. I was just joking. Yeah. At his wedding, man, they broke the and cigar me cutter. Twice. I was trying, man, to, trying to be funny, but at my wedding, I had cigars and stuff, right? These bastards, they either broke it or they stole them. <laughs> no, no, they broke it because I found one of them and it was in pieces. I'm like, how the hell am I meant to like, cut this? Because they were thick King Edward cigars, man. Well, look at this guy's face. He's just zoning out. Don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> so so I'm just putting it in my mouth and spitting it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can swallow, you can spit, whatever what you want. Said. Dude, we're <laughs> just keep... Dude, there's a lot of in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> Does this work? Yeah. Yeah, man. Are you sure? Yeah, just yeah, we, bought, we bought that for the dojo, bro. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Look. No, no, no. Clip. you got to do the clip. Noob. Yeah. Noob. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Got it. Noob. Because I don't smoke every fucking day. He doesn't, he doesn't have the uh, strong index finger that I've got from years of gaming. Are you for real? I'm just... I'm just oh, because wait, because I don't game. I'm just poking the hornet's nest right now. <laughs> oh, so why are you taking the lighter then? The one that I just... Because I want to show you my superior index finger muscles. <laughs> Sit this beating oh, fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eyebrows, <laughs> my superior skills. Hang on, I need some on fire. <laughs> Something to ash in here, man. Uh, oh, no, I don't smoke. This is, a, this is the first time I've seen smoke going to Tim's lips. Yeah. It's quite a rush. I don't, I don't fucking smoke, and I'm the one that brought these things in. I'm the one that sorted out the lighter, and you're trying to tell me off about how I lit it because you got the skill. <laughs> it's meant to burn your tug like that. <laughs> I don't feel the burn, though. That's the thing. <coughs> Do you know why? Because you're smoking it like a cigarette. Burnt my tongue. Because we're used to it. You know, like... It felt like I just tipped battery acid all over my tongue. Dude, <coughs> I, why is it that I don't I don't feel the difference? As in, I don't feel anything. He actually See, came up with a good theory. To smoke. He, came... <laughs> <laughs> he was born to smoke. <laughs> no, no, no. He came up with a good theory at um, Malaka's Bucks. Because everyone was complaining that their mouths were burning and I wasn't feeling shit. And and Nick said that it's because I um I drink scotch. Absolutely. He reckons that's that's why because yeah. I drink scotch. Years of burning and callous, Mate, callous in the tongue. Any <laughs> actual scotch drinker <clears throat> that smokes cigars and they'll tell you the same. They won't feel it. They don't. All the nerve endings on your tongue are just like smoothed over. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just like yeah. under yeah. a microscope, it's just smooth. <laughs> Dude, the, zero, zero my feeling. tongue is just corroded <laughs> away, and it's just this brown like slab. It feels like a. It feels like it feels like, like a, a brick. 
they're like a toffee apple that's been like left out in the sun <laughs> for too long. Yeah. I just, dude, I just forgot I had a cigarette. I just breathed in like a full-on cigarette. Yeah, don't do that. Oh. But, really, dude, really, I that, don't... That really opens up the throat hole. Yeah, but you know what, man? I don't know how to smoke <laughs> cigarettes properly. So then how do I know if I'm doing it? Like, is in, am I just not feeling it because I'm fucked? Well, I just totally just sucked it right down deep into my lungs and it hurt. I don't know. Right, am I doing something weird? No. Like, I'm smoking it normally, right? Yeah. You're not meant to inhale. That's the whole thing. Yeah, but... Just like, I'm puff on it, get the taste in, into yeah. your mouth, swirl it, and then... Psh- oh, fuck. This like a, like the, a um, fine wine, Nicholas, St. Nicholas. That's right. <laughs> fine wine. That's right. Fine yeah, wine. Yeah, it's interesting, again, we're talking about... Um, Actually, I wouldn't mind swirling, swirling a glass of red right now. You know, it's a nice glass. A, sw- a red with a cigar? Just, a, just a compliment. Actually, we're having, I had dinner yesterday with like some family friends of Ren's. And as soon as I got there, the guy just laid out like shots of like whiskey. I'm like, oh. all right. <laughs> shots of whiskey? Yeah, man. During the week? Yeah. Just for shits and giggles. It was like, like Thursday yeah, why night. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you want vodka or whiskey? I go, nah, I better lay off the vodka. Hey, Dean, would you like a um, happy birthday cup to Ashen with a wide brim? <laughs> what? Nah, it's all right, man. I got the, um, what's it called? The... What is it? A Mount Franklin thing. We'll make a bong out of it. See, the good thing with these things, you don't have to smoke it all at once. So you just leave it. Like, it'll, you know, just... Just dig it out. Dig it out a bit, and then you light it every time you want to smoke it. I've still got it in my head, man. Like, this guy, I'm a professional, like, lighter. He lights himself on fire. <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> Straight to stop, stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> There's nowhere to roll in here. What are you going to roll? Roll him against the brick. <laughs> just standing up. <laughs> it's not working. It's just spreading the flames. Dude, I want to, this is, I want to ask you this, man. Because um, me and this guy went through like a, a music um, oh, yes. time warp la- yesterday. La- yesterday on the phone. Just like half an hour, I lost my shit about music. And hang on, we won't go, okay. into, what, we won't go into that right now. No. We'll come back to it. I just want to ask this one question. <clears throat> Did you listen to John Butler? Yes. <laughs> but as a trio? The John Butler trio? John Butler himself. Actually, before I- <laughs> Do you prefer him as a solo artist? I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I just knew it. Again with the hippie bogan bullshit. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Okay, let's- all right, let's just do, let's just say it. All right. I'll, t- I'll tell you why. Like I knew that you listened to John Butler, yeah, because um, I remember when John Butler f- first came out, okay, and um, <laughs> I don't know how I got onto him yesterday because I-, I started googling something yeah. after me-, me and this guy's conversation, which we'll get into, <laughs> yeah. But I remember when I first saw John Butler Trio's music or whatever, or John Butler, yeah, he was on TV at some festival, yeah. And the crowd was really mixed. Like, there were, like, these goth chicks, you know, like, big goth girls, and then there were, like, these skinny, junky-looking dudes. And then there were, like... <laughs> then there were, like, these bigger, sort of, like, homies, like, sort of looking mm. dudes, like, with street cred, you know what I mean? And they were, like, vibing to this, like, John Butler music, yeah? Which had that positive, yeah, like, yeah. edge to it, or whatever it was. Like, it was spiritual yeah. and yada yada. I still remember being on the couch <laughs> in my parents' house, yeah? Like, on my mum's couch... Half asleep. Raging like boner. S- no, no, no. Hey, Rachel, it was Rachel like boner. it was like a Sunday arvo. Like you know when you you know when you you've done watching. Like, it was like a Saturday arvo mm. where you're done watching Bathurst. You know, like because that's all it's on. Just <laughs> four o'clock yeah. on a Saturday. <laughs> five hours. Sand down. Five. <laughs> five hours of V8. Just the like Clips all five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like, all right, man, yeah. what, what the fuck's going to happen next? Someone's car, please blow up. Yeah. <laughs> please die someone. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like flicking around, like half like, yeah, you know, arm hanging off the couch. Like, yeah. You know, oh, fuck it. What else is there on? And then it came up to this festival, like in Uluru or something, you know, and everyone's like vibing and clapping. And I'm just like half asleep. Like, what the fuck is this horrendous music? And like, and it wasn't the music that pissed me off more than the crowd pissed me off. <laughs> Because the crowd was like half wannabe hippie, half street, you know, like yeah. whatever. Hipsters. But they're all talking about like, oh, yeah, it's just positive music and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you fucking sellouts, you're full of shit. You're going to forget about this shit in like a week. Yeah. Do you know, like, that's what was going Like, when did Joe Butler come out? Like, I haven't heard from him since. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> when did he? All right, let me, let me, Seriously. I'm on it. I'm on it. What Fuck was his song? I can be better than you or some yeah, shit. No, actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. First two albums are pretty good. <laughs> I just remember seeing that fucking concert, man. It's like Port Ferry music. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 I just remember seeing that concert and it fucking annoyed me. Like, right. I just remember being irritated just Apparently the Apparently he's a big drug taker too. Oh, yeah, like apparently he's on, he's, he's on it. He's yeah, on he's on the hams, man. Yeah. He's fucked. Yeah. Maybe yeah. if you uh, had a little something, something <laughs> and uh, jived into that crowd, maybe you'd have a different take on it, Demi. No, you know what, man? I refuse to believe... 98. <clears throat> you know what pisses me off the most? My favourite song by him is Sister. It's a really good song. What do I? Not one of the popular ones. <laughs> <laughs> one of the B-sides. You can only find a vinyl made organically. <laughs> Mad try. <laughs> you had to hunt it down to get it. Like, only cool, Only the people have this one. I remember yeah. he, um, he grows his uh, right thumbnail really long into a point. So oh, I play his banjo. The strum the banjo. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. You sure? Strum the banjo on wiki. I've actually, seen him, I've actually seen him play slide guitar as well. He's really talented. Really. Uh, I'm not denying the guys are not talented. I'm just saying the crowd pissed me off. So he was born in California. Really? Yeah. But his origin is Western Australia. So he must have moved him when he was a kid. Um, yeah. He looks like a Western Australian, doesn't he? Born in 75. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Parents divorced. Moved to West. His, his father moved to Western Australia. Dude, I refuse to believe that you need to be on drugs to listen to certain music as in you'll only appreciate. Like, I used to get... um. Yeah, I think you have that thing where you can appreciate it without it. Yeah, like, yeah. the only mu- style of music that you need to listen to on drugs to actually appreciate it is, like, full techers, drug techers. Like, I know, I like, music, like, I love trance, I love hard house, I love psychedelic trance, you know, which is all, in, like, it all falls under the DMT sphere of influence, yeah? But there's one style of electronic trance, like, I don't even know what to call it. It's honestly just fucking noise, right? And this is someone that produces electronic music. It was because I remember an ex of mine, like years ago, had it playing in her car. I'm like, what the fuck is that, man? I used to listen to that sort of shit. Twister, yeah, Twister. No, I, I'm pretty I sure. I couldn't understand. I, I, there was there was no rhythm. There was no beat. There was no melody. There was yeah. nothing. It was just noise. Yeah. She goes, well, well, you sort of have to be on it to like enjoy. It. I'm like, fuck that. Like, it's fuck. That's not an excuse to listen to music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. So it's not that I need to be stoned in order to get into the vibes of like. Port Ferry, like, music festival. I can go to that shit and chill out. Like, that doesn't bother me, man. I'm, I'm all for it. Man, I was in Amsterdam at an underground rave. For, like, have I ever told you that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've told you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> underground warehouse fucking party going Sit on. on an early podcast, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, you be. did. You did, yeah. 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 And, um, dude, the music that I was playing there that night, I don't know if you've ever heard it, man. It's like happy hardcore. Yeah? Happy hard. Like, you line up some happy hardcore right now, man. It's like, literally, <clears throat> it's techers turned up to, like, to the max. is <laughs> really fast <fuck> shit. <laughs> All the way through. Then gunshot sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> like happy hard style yeah. kind of thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just picturing dudes at Twister with those giant baggy pants. He had them. Doing the running man. I had them, dude. That's I was a man. raver. Dude, he had them. Dude, the shit in Amsterdam was like that, but four times as fast. Wait for it. We'll see for 10 minutes. Here comes this the running is man, the this running is, man. Tell you what, this is new though. So it's... No, no, no. Old school happy hardcore shit, yeah? Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. And man, that party, like, I'll be honest, 80% of the people there were fucked, like, off their chops. If, 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 I was drinking. I wasn't smashed or anything. So, I mean, I'm in a strange country in a strange warehouse, like, fucking half Taking an hour from my hotel. You, yeah. yeah. I've got no idea where I am. So I stuck to the beers, you know? But, um... Man, everyone was fucked. We all like had a mad time. I got footage. I got films. I'll show you this shit. Photos, footage, like everything. Just sober. Yeah. Man, I used to go to a lot of raves, man. But <clears> I never <throat> took anything because I didn't have to. Yeah, I man. loved music. So I'd go to like, you know, you had your commercial stuff like, you know, God's Kitchen and like uh, Two Tribes, yeah. stuff like that. But I also yeah, went, went to, to like- I went to a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah, you know, you know but you don't- Did you really- your shirt off? Yeah. yeah. you sick cat. Did you put it on the side of your pants? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, was the, I was the kid with the hoodie and the fucking rape pants. I did that. No, I didn't do it every time. I did that at once at um. It was when I saw the Chemical Brothers. I think it was like uh, <laughs> they're good. They're cool though, man. Future, Future Music Festival. Uh yeah. You know what? I've never been to any of that. I always went to like Two Tribes Got the Kitchen, and then there was other one like more underground called Pharmacy. <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> pharmacy yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I what wonder mean? what that's about like and jelly beans they, they, <laughs> they pop up like sh- in sheds and stuff you guys just reminded me of something there's mm. like so like have you ever heard of cloud nine yeah man yeah so cloud nine the guy that runs it got busted like got fined a bunch of money because he was importing pipes like <laughs> ice pipes no shit like 
imported like 20,000 of them to sell at the club. Is that with kids. the brand Sweet Puff on it? Sweet Puff, yeah. <laughs> and he got busted, dude, like, <laughs> raided and shit. Because it's illegal to have them. So he was just like... Wait, it's illegal to have an ice pipe? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Any, just, any um, illegal smoking... You're not allowed um, to sell them anymore. Paraphernalia. Bongs, bongs or, or, or pipes or anything. You can't sell bongs? Mm-mm. Last time I bought one, the guy took me down this, like, he's like, all right, yeah, sweet, and took me down, like, this passage, and I like, had this cupboard all locked up yeah. and shit. Because, like, um, what's that Was it because he just saw you and was like, okay, this guy's legit. This, this guy's cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's got street cred. He's wearing his beanie. He's got, got, like, like, nah, got like me. I gave him the special handshake, the, ma- <laughs> the, ma- the mason handshake. The one that goes between his legs. <laughs> 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 and it's like some other guy walks out. What were you doing? That guy doesn't even work here. That's <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> but how's that the owner, like, man, just, like, peddling fucking shit to the kids? Yeah, like, well, wouldn't you? That's not why wouldn't you, but if you're running... That's how it would make money. Oh, yeah. dude, he could make a killing, because that works running, out to be, like, cheap if you if buy them. If you're running that type of club, mm. yeah, and you know your patrons are on fucking junk, yeah, you know, you can just, well... They're not going to buy alcohol. <laughs> yeah, well, well, fuck it. We'll, yeah. we'll sell them the cups for the alcohol then. Yeah. If you can't sell them the drink, sell them the cup because they're it. bringing their own drink in. Mm. You know what I mean? I didn't know that smoking paraphernalia was completely illegal. Mm. Well, what's that place called? Off, um, your, head, off your tree. Off, yeah, they don't sell bombs <clears throat> and stuff anymore. What do they sell? Just like piercings. They've got a lot into piercings. They've got tattoo shop now. Posters, t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that kind of Earrings. Shit. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> they still <laughs> inspect. I'm sure they still Black sell it. stickers. Yeah. I'm sure they still sell it. In some way. In I love show. how that's it's illegal to sell smoking paraphernalia, but you can still buy a gun. Oh yeah. Or you can you can go to a knife shop and buy like a set of knives, dude. Steak knives. Buy a fucking knife like this size. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. It should be fine. No, no, like, like, uh, uh, yeah, 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 go for it. <laughs> yeah, go, go. By all means, go. It's pretty you know, bad shit. Do you know, you can you can do it. you can go to a paintball thing, pay your money, right? Suit up and then just run outside with the gun. Yeah. No one's going to stop Start you. Start blasting people point blank range Dude, in the face. Dude, that shit hurts. Dude, I was, I was there, like, when we went for Arthur's thing. Does it hurt? And the only people working there was one guy supervising us. Yeah, like, as in hosting the, the game. And Some was, uni student. Yeah. And there was a girl <laughs> the behind the... The teen from... Yeah, there was Simpsons. a girl behind the counter, <laughs> and then a, a guy behind the counter as well. And the guy looked like... You know those CSI, NCIS shows, and there's always, like, one sort of dorky... IT yeah. spec yeah, dude yeah, yeah. with like big thick glasses. And he's always woody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably a big dude, like a husky dude with like yeah. a white t shirt. Yeah. yeah. That was that guy. Nina Pasadena t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was that guy. He was behind the t- <laughs> <laughs> It was that guy, man. You could honestly just run out in your gear and just disappear down the street with a fully loaded, like. <laughs> Latest. Paintball. Yeah, fuck it. And you shoot him on the way out. Like, <laughs> it's just, oh, you can't leave. <laughs> Show you. <laughs> yeah, he's on the ground holding his stomach. <laughs> How much ammo do you want? All the ammo. <laughs> put, it, put the gun to his head. Give me all of it. To be fair, they do take an extensive amount of your details. They take everything down. Like worth you, it. Everything. It's worth it. Yeah, you would. You have to. Yeah. It's fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> the Australian music scene. <laughs> this is the conversation we were having yesterday. <laughs> Um, why did I bring it up? Do you remember why I brought it up? Um, because you sent me a photo of... Oh, yeah! You saw... You know the messages we were sending back and forwards in the... In the That's Not Right th- WhatsApp thread? Yeah, uh, yeah Peter Gary. Yeah, yeah. Peter, yeah. Gar- Peter Dean looks like you'd be playing bass for <laughs> Midnight Oil. <laughs> he just looks like, you know, like the early, mid-90s. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought. Like, that sent me off. creepy? Peter Garrett was getting interviewed today on Triple M. Bullshit! Ooh, yeah. He was on there. Dude, that conversation was less than 24 when I, hours when ago. I, when I pulled up here and I was eating, <laughs> I had the Triple M on and actually Peter Garrett was on the radio, like as in getting interviewed. That's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Midnight Oil, man. Bed, um, beds are burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they got some wicked choruses, Midnight Oil. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the other question we're going to ask you. <laughs> no, <laughs> I listen. Hang on, stop, stop, stop. stop right there. I, I am not a Midnight Oil fan. <laughs> no, but... Some tracks. But when I'm cruising late at night and those hey, power cords hey, come on, the radio <laughs> goes up. Give me the lighter. I'm going to spark this up again because it's got to be done. Hey, <laughs> sleep the beds are burning. I got some wicked songs, dude. <laughs> when you just sing along. The choruses, they're always short but really sweet. Hey, can you pass me the lighter? Yeah, okay. So it's catchy. Like, you're, what you're saying is they're catchy. Like, yeah, they're, like the choruses, they're, they're, they're always on. short but just fucking bang, So I've got some boom. bands here that hang I want to run on. past you. Hang on, hang on. We'll go, we'll go, we'll tell them what the... Co- yeah, yeah, what yeah. And then we'll, right? yeah. Hang on. I've got to take a puff. Just hang on. <laughs> did, did the conversation go like this? 
So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you reckon Johnny, uh, <laughs> so, so John's a filthy, after, uh, John Butler dropped, trio looking after guy. After he dropped the, the Peter Dean line about me, not all, I called him up. I was just in tears. He like, called me, was laughing. I was like, laughing. I answered it. Hey, man. Like, and all he was laughing. I was sitting at my desk, man. I was doing the audio for the la- yesterday's, like, all the eight year old girls that were recording the, um, for the play stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, man, the crumbs. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just laughing. And then, I started going off about Midnight Oil. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fan of Midnight Oil, but it extends further than Midnight Oil. We started hammering out, like I started naming all these bands, and he's and I kept saying to Nick, "Am I right? Am I on the money here? Like, am I wrong?" He's like, "No, no, you're not wrong." I started naming all these bands, and they all came out from the same era. And I wait, we're talking Midnight Oil, oil era. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and incidentally, yeah, they were all they were all like connected yeah all of them were connected with the same artists same producers same writers all that and I, and I I rallied off a list okay and I'm gonna give you the list alright <laughs> do, do you want me to give you the list do you want to I'm name? just gonna say like so Midnight Oil okay hang on hang on I'll tell you what do, let's write down a list of these bands I've got them all here and then compare them <laughs> no, no, right? I've got them all here no 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 it's in you can read them I'm gonna write so, here here's a pen yeah. okay so wait Okay. So we're talking like mid eighties, mid nineties, early to mid eighties to maybe late eighties, early nineties. Yeah? yeah, write down back just, when, when the Australian rock scene was pretty big. As just, in here. just write down just a comprehensive I'm not, list. I'm not talking about your ACDCs because they went global. Like we're talking like just your just your Aussie local artists Aussie. that, Aussie, that, that right? tour like New South Wales. So in excess are too big for that. Yeah, yeah. So in excess would be like the biggest band yeah, you'd yeah, name okay. and. They were more like poppy, yeah. sort yeah. of. Do you know what I mean? Like I, didn't, I didn't grow up liking this genre hang on, that hang we're on. discussing. Don't, let's 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 not. Let's I, was, not I was into grunge. Let, let's into, not. Hang on. Let's not queer the so conversation. You love your up Alice just Chains and hang like on, Nirvana. Hang on, hang on. Let's not queer up the conversation right now. Let's just write a comprehensive list and see if you were on the ball with what me and this guy were discussing. All right. Because I asked the question, do you reckon Johnny grew up listening to this shit? Or it was being played... Hang on. Don't shake your head. Yeah, nah. Okay. Or it was being played in his house by his friends, like his family, friends, his relatives, his parents. All right. Let's just let's just draw up a list of bands and we'll compare the two lists and see if we're on the money. Okay. Just a comprehensive list. I'm talking like five, six, seven bands, like tops, yeah? Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got the you got the list there as well. While we're waiting, um, um. <laughs> I know there's heaps, but I'm kind of drawing blanks. It's fucked yeah, up. I'm drawing blanks as well because I came up with a full list yesterday. Your call is important to us. <laughs> Please wait. <laughs> Please stay on the line. <laughs> right. Um, oh fuck! <laughs> I had the full list yesterday. I gotta remember it. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm drawing fucking blank. I've only got two down. I had a whole list. All these bands would have had a Shazza at the front of the stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. In like um, leggings and like tizzed oh, yeah. out hair, true? Yeah. yeah. Well, look, you know. Oh, hang on. I've got this one. I've got this one. I've got some great bands here. I've got, f- I've got four. I'm drawing fucking I'm drawing blanks. blanks. Dude, I came up with a whole list. Like this, this wasn't my forte back in the day. No, no, no. But just like, um, you know, bands that come, like, yeah, know, think of I the know. AFL Grand Final. Oh, I got another. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, anyway. The second you said that, I just wrote one down. Yeah, you know exactly <laughs> what I'm, yeah. Uh, um, fucking out again. Maybe it's that last. No, no, that's the whole idea. Yeah. Um, shit, I'm drawing more blanks. I can't remember. All right, you, you guys give me just a couple, just a couple of no, your, yeah, your head. No, you tell me. <laughs> All right, you tell me. Have All you right. got? Read the first one off your list. Midnight Oil. <laughs> I love Midnight Oil, yeah, yeah. right? Read, this, read the next one. The Angels. Yeah. Yes, I named them yesterday. Yeah, he named them I yesterday. I drew a blank with them yesterday. Cold Chisel. Yeah, we yeah. named them yesterday. But you know what? But you know what? Cold Chisel, they're more rock, blues. And like, Barnsley, I like Barnsley. Like Barnsley's, we'll got ball. Barnsley's got balls, man. Like he's, keep going. You're on the right track. Keep yeah, going. I always have just Barnsley here by himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's true. No, he was, an, he was yeah, a solo yeah. artist. Keep going. Um, and then the last one I have... I know there's more. The last one I have is Hunters and Collectors. <laughs> yeah, Hunters yeah, and Collectors yeah. is the first one on my yeah. list. Uh, All right? I'll tell you, uh, you were right in the money with Hunters and Collectors. Yeah. I've written down Hunters and Collectors. I just thought of Mondo Dude, Rock. <laughs> Mondo Dude, Rock. Hoodoo Gurus. <laughs> oh, crowded House and Split Ends. Crowded House. How did I forget that one? Yeah, exactly. Right? Can I give you some more? And okay, Go for it. More. Okay, so we've got Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. <laughs> I didn't name them yesterday. I forgot about them. He's a little bit more niche. Yeah. Mm. Then we've got uh, a little bit more artsy. Ice House. 
Yes, oh, Ice yes, House. Ice House. Men at Work. Oh. Yeah, we named them because you were singing the song, and then I remembered the name yeah. of the band. What about Mondo Rock? Come Mondo Rock. Yeah, I'll get- mental uh, as anything. Mondo Rock as in um, Daddy Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ross Wilson. I've, I've met him. Uh, he's a family friend of uh, my my, my Can mom's. I throw in Savage Garden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 90s. Fly it to the moon. Dude, yeah. you, had, you had Savage Garden's album, didn't you? I, I liked his Dude, that song. Yeah, yeah. That song, Moon and Back, is actually a really well-written Australian uh, song. Crawl. Oh, right. Australian Crawl. Dude. <laughs> 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 actually, do you know one, one a band? Oh, and the other one I forgot? Paul Kelly. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, Paul Kelly, of course. <sighs> yeah. Okay. My, this is where I'm going with this, yeah? Oh, I just had make, it, make your point. Make your point. I just had something. I lost it. Something really important. Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Just quickly, icon- iconic Australian song that I love. Uh, Solid Rock by Goanna. Goanna. <laughs> Goanna. <laughs> Goanna. <laughs> Goanna. <laughs> Solid Rock, man. That's a fucking wicked I'm going to tell you, this is the point that I was making, yeah? Hunters and Coll- And it's the most, like, crowded house... Crowded House, Hunters and Collectors, Hoodoo Gurus, Split Ends, like all these cunts, yeah? For me, I had this argument with an ex of mine who was really into that shit. This is like pff, seven years ago or something, yeah? And she was playing it on her, in her car or something, you know, or she was singing a chorus or some shit. And I was just like, ugh, <laughs> you know? Well, what's the problem? I go, man, I can't stand that shit. Cause what do you mean? <laughs> you know? It's great songwriting. I go, it is the most boring, pedestrian fucking rock I've ever heard in my life. And it, it's yeah. it's literally you can you can loop it. Yeah. Hunters and collectors, hoodoo gurus, crowded house, split ends, mm. you know, midnight all Australian crawl. There's no fucking <laughs> melody. It's like it's one chord. Errol, that's Dude. A six. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, where, where, where. can I give you two more? I will. Oh, okay, give us two more. You got the baby animals, right? And the one I lost it with yesterday, the screaming jets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, yeah, no shit. Yeah. Dude, it's yeah. it's like it's one chord through the whole fucking song. And it's just this guy, uh, and in the back of my head, it's like this music needs to be segregated to Kmart ads. Yeah. Like that's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. It cannot be for anything else. Just pedestrian TV. And it's not because they're Aussie. It's not it's because they're Aussie. Really, it's because, just because then. Yeah, because he, Nick and I named. Kind of is because. Dude, no, no, no. Like, do you know why? Like, this is really we named, we named yeah, all, all these like, other Aussie yeah. bands, dude. Skyhooks. Yeah. Skyhooks are dude. Aussie as fuck. ACDC. Yeah, yeah man. You know, but proper. But like, dude, I think it was just that era where it was just like that tacky. And I said it. They're coming out of the 70s, yeah. right? And the start of the eight, like 70s, start of the 80s, where. Trying to find their feet. And they're trying to, yeah, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. The drugs are wearing off. A bit confused, off. a bit confused. Yeah, we need to clean up our act. Yeah. But we're not, we're not, um, we're not disdained enough yet to make grunge. Yeah. Kurt Cobain is still a couple of years yeah. away. Yeah. So what do we do? Yeah. And I just picked up the guitar, it's like, uh, yeah. I was like, nah, man. Oh, shit, it's another one. You or my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't grow up listening to no. any of this music because, no. like, my parents listen to music, but all the bands in my house, man, you know, Deep Purple, Beatles, The Stones, um, Dire Straits, mm. you know, and then, like, Pop, like, Michael mm. Jackson and, mm. like, Lionel Richie and all the other shit, you know? Yeah, so getting back to me growing up, it was, like, Beatles and Rolling Stones and shit from my dad's side, but then my sister was a big grunge head, so it was, like, Pearl yeah. Jam. So... We looked upon those people that like Midnight Oil as like dirty bogans. Like, but yeah. Because my sister had one friend that <clears> liked, <throat> and he had like the typical panel fan, Midnight Oil fan. Oh. Yeah. And I was kind of like turned off by that scene from an early age. Like, because I remember her like telling me like bogans, like, dude, dirt, like dirty. Like, I hated it <laughs> because then you'd get, you'd get, especially even with Greeks, man. Like, I, I, I name dropped one or, one or two guys like to, to Nick yesterday. They'd listen to Paul Kelly and be like, oh, it's so deep and so. I'm like, what are you nuts? The guy like, was on junk on the for the last 20 no years. There was no melody in what he was mm. singing mm. at all. It was like, I described it as a spoken word album to the same two chords for the entire fucking thing. And she's like, ah, fuck up. You know who he copied? Who's that dusty guy? Spring, uh, Dusty, um... The Aussie, um, acoustic country kind of... Oh, the of... country dude. Slim Dusty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Slim Dusty. He, Paul Kelly's a poor man Slim Dusty. <laughs> for the 80s. Slim, Slim for the 80s. Yeah, man. Because Slim Dusty, you just knew him for that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, then Paul Kelly comes out with his heroin. Dude, I fucking... couldn't handle it. <laughs> what was Paul Kelly's biggest song? Uh, oh, it was that... <laughs> man, I was singing it yesterday. Yeah, um... I couldn't get it out of my head. Um... Oh, fuck. But I never got into that kind of stuff. I never got into that kind of that stuff. I mean, me either. But just with Midnight Oil, like <laughs> in my later years, yeah. just listening to their chorus, there's something about it. Just like a couple I don't of know, songs catch you a bit. And, just something yeah. cool about his. I don't know. It was. Um, I'll give Peter Garrett something. He's got stage presence, man. That guy, energy. He, he moves around a yeah, lot. That's yeah, for sure. oh. he does that little like seizure move. <laughs> He's got that. 
that yeah. little thing going. <laughs> it's pretty dirty. Yeah, it's a dirty move. Um, Very dirty. <laughs> dirty Peter. <laughs> dirty <on>. Peter. <laughs> Dirty Peter. That was Dirty Peter, man. <laughs> Peter Garrett, because he does the dirty moves. <laughs> the seizure moves. <laughs> the seizure dirty, moves. Dirty Peter. <laughs> um, REM. That's what I'm thinking of, man. Like, they're Americans. Yeah. But, like, that's that sort of sound, like losing my religion, like all that sort of shit. That's me. Everything they play on Triple M, basically. Yeah. Dude, REM, and like, it feels like a lot of those bands tried to, like, gank that REM style. They couldn't do it properly. But, poor, poor man's. Yeah, poor yeah. man's REM. Like yeah. they, like, does that make sense? Yeah. Like Silverchair jumped on Nav- uh, Nirvana the grunge, sound. The yeah. but Silverchair were fucking mad. Yeah. They were kids. Their and albums, the yeah, first couple albums that came out, oh good, shit, were yeah. massive. Yeah. yeah, I remember my sister seeing Silverchair when she was probably like fifteen or sixteen at uh, in French Gully at our Glenfern College. Glenfern. Yeah. I still remember taking her to see them. Just at, like just in the school hall when they very first started. Fuck. Right, right near our house, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, cool. yeah. I was going to ask you, did your family, like, did your parents or, like, your parents' friends all play that shit growing up? Because that was the first thing I asked this guy. I go, do you reckon yeah, you this no, family? No, we were not one of those families. Oh, cool. that shit my dad, like, no way, man. My dad's from England, like, doesn't, like, buy into Aussie culture at all. Okay. He, like, likes Beatles, Rolling Stones. Like, like, yeah, that, that, so, if you want to think of Aussie culture from the 80s, is that what you think of? Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. I think of Woody, Woody Blues, oil. fucking beer you know what, in like, the crowd. All yeah. the older, I'll be honest, man. A lot of the older Greeks that uh, say, not my, maybe not my parents' age, but in between me and my parents' age, man, they listen to like Maiden, they listen to Metallica, they listen to Kiss. You know, like a lot of that sort of shit. Either really hard rock yeah. from the states or really hard rock from the UK. Like I'll be honest, yeah. no one ever fucking brought yeah. out like an REM sounding album from Australia. Mm. But, like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just... Do you think it's Aussie? Like, pub rock shit? Because Barnsley's Barnsley. I, I like... Like, Barnsley's cool just for... <laughs> but what about Rose Tattoo, man? <laughs> oh, Angry Anderson. Yeah, angry Anderson. Angry. <laughs> he just shakes his head. Just like he's over it. Like, yeah, nah. Rose not, not, not a serious. fan. Not a fan. <laughs> but you know what's funny? All of... The, what, what's, what are they... All these guys got in common? They've all played at the French Gully pub. <laughs> yeah. And I guarantee it. I, one, I, 100, I saw, 120 million man, percent. Man, I went to the butterfly effect. Yeah, I was there. I was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I saw Grinspoon there as well. Yeah, yeah. Grinspoon, Grinspoon, what Spider Grinspoon? Bait, Spider Bait. Yeah. What would you call Spider Bait? Regurgitator. <laughs> Did, what, <laughs> regurgitator. What was the? There was another band that was like Regurgitator, but from um. Dun, 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 dun. Regurgitator. Oh, dun, dun, Remember that song? Dun, dun, um, dun. Jeff Devil's Rainbow or whatever. That was a six. I just knew that one song. So they Rainbow, one, was, was it Regurgitator that lived in the bubble at Fed Square to record a new album? Something like that. They did nothing. It was after Big Brother or before Big Brother One. Do you remember it? I'm the stats man. Let me get on it. Yeah, look it up. I think it was Regurgitator. Yeah, because Goldfarb was talking about it once at work, and he's like, it was terrible. Surprise. <laughs> big, big time fail, guys. Just get get out of the box now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, they were Didn't in like work. a big bubble for like a, a month, and still they were just together. recording shit like nonstop. <laughs> How are they still together? <laughs> out of the bubble, we're popping it. Come on. <laughs> so they're from 93 to 2013, and then it took a two-year hiatus, and they're back from 2015. Really? Weird. Weird. You ever heard of a band called The Cops? The Cops? Is it a wicked Australian band? The Police? (laughs) The Police? (laughs) Not not, not, The Police? Not Sting. (laughs) Not not Sting, not Sting. Sting's new song's alright though. I like it. I actually like Sting's new song. song. (laughs) The Police? Because we're in Australia, it's like, yeah, you got the cops down tonight. (laughs) What? (laughs) Sting just walks through the door. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) How does Sting's new song get the chorus? It's fucking Um, good. It's catchy I as. can't stop thinking that, about that's you. Right. What? Da, da. It's Sting's, very, Sting's it's very police. It's good. Yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. I, was I wasn't with a Sting it. fan. The Cops are a really good I'm Australian band. I'm looking them up right dude. now. The Cops are really fucking good. The Cops. They're called The Cops. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> the Cops. The Cops. I honestly think you'd like the album. I really Why? do. Because it's just cool, man. It's just different. It's got like- do you know whose album I downloaded uh, yesterday? Um, <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> you know, don't even try. Don't even try, man. Like, is, it last, a band? is it a band? Did she last week? The, 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 what'd you call them? The, uh, the something possums? Oh, the uh, days were the possums. <laughs> Dude, they're good. They're the possies. <laughs> yeah, just top of the ladder, you know. No, no, no. It's a band. 
Um, it's a band. It's a band we all appreciate, and we all were surprised that we were all appreciate this band. Origin. It's probably the first can we play band. A guess- yeah, can we play a guessing game? <laughs> okay. Can play the Origin. Who? Where are they from? Oh, uh, we, all appre- we all appreciate them. Which country? Country. Oh, they're from the states. They're from the states. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you now. It's a band that we all were like, we've we've all listened to it. Like when we started talking about music as a, as a like as a group. Pod. Bang on the money. Yeah, the boy. <laughs> straight away. They're really uh, making new album. They, dude, I've got their new album. Good. It came out last year. Good. No, no, they're making another one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I got them on Twitter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're on Twitter, right? Mate. See, I introduced him to Twitter. It's on all over. I'm not on even it. on... I don't even use Twitter, man. Dude, like, it's you, awesome. I tweet once a, a, a fucking month, no, maybe. No, on it. I, I retweet stuff. <laughs> Shit. On, I bag people out. Like, dude? Yeah, man. <laughs> What Troller. are you going to do? Troller. Every Troller, day. yeah. No, no, if I don't like something, I'm going to bag someone out. No, no, because like, I, yeah. I, I've had a Twitter account for years, but I mm. never used it. I used it to promote like my music mm. and stuff. And then they just sat there. Yeah. And then when we started doing this, I said, you know what? We should probably get on Twitter because yeah. we should be on Twitter. I tweet our links every week and I might yeah. hit up a celebrity with something every now and like, yeah. Just if we're, yeah, if it's yeah. because of a reason, but not randomly. Shit, I can't believe you're on Twitter, like, mate, actively. Mate, on it. <laughs> Ah. Nicol- Nicholas Trollman. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Trollman. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I downloaded P.D.'s album from last year. They finished it late last year. Mm. It's a concept album. And it was barely marketed and promoted. So it's their least successful. It was a failure like six, uh, commercially. But the critics are saying that in time, it'll be recognized as P.D.'s greatest album. Wow. Yeah. I listened to it just a one-off, a one-go-through is only like 10 or 12, 10 tracks or something? It only yeah. takes a few listens, though, to yeah. figure out. I listened like, to it once, and I found, like, one or two tracks that were just like, far. that's really cool, yeah, man. Mad, like, mad. straight off the bat. But Pierre yeah. is one band that I don't think anyone can hate. They're just, like, you just don't hate them. They're not no. like a... But they've got some cool sound. They've got different stuff. So, it's like, I think it's something for everyone. Yeah, their you sounds know? changed a bit through, yeah. like, their last albums, mm. but it's still, you'd find something on the album that you'd like, yeah. man. What I listened to the other day, Execute the Sounds. Sick track. Execute the sound. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Sick track. Dude, Satellite, self-titled, even like the, the last two, man, before yeah. that, they got heaps of listens, man. Yeah. Heaps. I didn't stop. I'm still on uh, California, Blink's new e. <laughs> Are uh, you serious? Yeah, I'm loving it, man. It's really Have you great. heard Green Day's new song? Yeah. Do you like right. it? It's not bad. Yeah, it's it's very, bad. They've gone a little bit back to... Yeah, uh, a little bit more the punky, punky, punky. Yeah, I, saw, I saw an ad for it. Like, it was... D- Fast drum beats. <laughs> yeah, I just went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I said. I said, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Whatever. What's his name? Billy Joel. That's the one. Armstrong. <laughs> Billy, who? Billy Joe Armstrong. Billy, Billy Joe? Billy oh, Joe. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the lead dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about his head just pisses me off. And then, uh, his head. Like, yeah, just Trey Cool, is that? The Trey Cool. Is that the drummer? Yeah. Yeah. What happened to the Living End, man? They're, they're playing at the MC. They're playing at um, Grand Final Day. Are you serious? Yeah, man. No, it wasn't so... They, it's still big, dude. They have a new dude, song. Dude, they actually put a new Sting? song. That I was thought not Sting the... was playing... Uh, who was it for Grand Final Day? They named... It wasn't just... The, it wasn't the Living End. It was someone else. Oh, no, it was. It was, um... Dude. Vance Joy. Who? <laughs> <laughs> he actually used to play football. He used to be an AFL footballer. Yeah. He was Richmond listed or something? Yeah. Or something like that? Like, it was pretty good. No, um, no. They, they named someone else as the actor for... Thing. I'll have a look now. It's like Bon Jovi or some shit. Like, someone big. Like, because uh, they didn't want to fuck up with, like, Meatloaf again. Oh, you're going to... How fucked up was that, oh, dude? Oh, God. You know who's singing the-, the national anthem? Who? Are you guys ready to, like... Natalie Bassenthwaite? <laughs> dude, <laughs> even worse. Anthony you- Kalia? Nah, man. <laughs> dude, I wish it was Anthony <laughs> Kalia. <laughs> Anthony Kalia and Natalie Na- Bassenthwaite? And you know what? It's not Nolsey. <laughs> I'm just trying <laughs> to think of, like... <laughs> dude, Natalie Bassenthwaite for me is, like, the worst. But nah. Keep going. Um, um, are you to- ready to get transported back to 92? Send, send me back stats, man. Vinka and Linda Bull. Oh. Who? Yeah, Vin- I've seen them at Port Ferry Music Festival. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> These bitches. Who the fuck are they? Weren't they Barnsley's daughters or something? I or don't like, know. No, Barnsley's, Barnsley's daughters, uh, Barnsley's kids are in the tin lids. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember the tin oh, lids? Oh, that was oh, terrible, man. That was disgusting. But they're actually not bad, Linda and Vicka Bull. They're actually pretty talented. <sighs> I actually, I've never heard of who, whoever the fuck they are. Did, did you ever hear of a hip hop, Aussie hip hop dude called Fig Kid? Who? I thought you might have because you're from the gully. <coughs> Fig no, Kid, no. look him up. I'll tell you what. Oh, just quickly. So I'll look him up. Wait, <laughs> the NRL, right, have confirmed Keith Urban and Orianti and Richie Sambora, right? That's the Orianti's, NRL. Orianti's um, Michael Jackson's guitarist yeah. from his last tour. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me tell you what the AFL are doing. We've always been horrible, man. Like Jet, who am I? I think Jet's a special guest. Okay, so yeah, 
Vance Joy. <clears throat> AFL, get your shit together. Um, Living End. Right. You heard uh, that new song, Living End's new song? No, I don't want to know. Living End, Vance <laughs> Joy. How's it go? At the moment, that's all I can see. There's, Dude. There, there was someone else, though. <clears throat> I'll tell you, this is, a this is something that's wrong with this. <laughs> this right here is something that's wrong with the Australian music industry. And, like, a big thing with Australian music, the reason why all the good acts that remain underground and then go, <clears throat> they all go overseas, you know, to become big, right? It's because we don't promote the shit that is, like, good. Yeah, they just sort of try and force us to get on bandwagons. Like, they'll go to radio stations and record labels will pay radio stations to play shit minimum. Yep. And that, yeah, yep, that makes re- sense. Yep. We recycle all the same fucking heads, you know. Natalie Bassenthwaite will make a three-album deal. That's and that's sung a fucking Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why we. There's hardly ever any Australian new artists, man, unless they've been completely manufactured. This pissed me off, and I still remember it because I was at work at that warehouse still in um, cleaning, you know? And this is when I just started doing hip hop production, so probably like 2004, 2005, maybe, right? I was listening to the radio, like, in the, in the thing as I was cleaning up, and the, the announcer on the radio was like, oh, this is a new single from this hip hop artist in Australia called uh, Fig Kid. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Like, who's, who's this? It's from Bankstown, right? In the city, in New South. And this is what the radio announcer said. It's like, he's sort of, they're sort of comparing him to our version of Eminem. And I'm oh. like, my ears pricked up because I was big into Eminem at the time. I'm Hang like, on, what? <laughs> all right, how? This is what the announcer's saying, all right? Without having heard anything. Oh, uh, yeah, like, he was sort of going through some hard times and now he's sort of all right. So, yeah. And I'm like, uh huh. Okay, what well, way to kill this kid's career before he's even started? Away. Comparing mm. him to Eminem, we haven't heard a single thing, but you're telling me that he had hard times and now he doesn't, so there's a comparison. <laughs> he is Eminem. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> then they played the song, and I was just, I actually stopped working. I'm like, this is fucking garbage. Like, look it up, man. Dad left home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the song was fucking garbage. Like, this is on the radio. 2004 was his first single, and it hit Aussie's, it was number four. 50 on like the Arias here on the singles, yeah? Uh, 2004, I was on the money. And I just remember being infuriated by it. And all I could think of was like, his name was Fig Kid. And the first thing that came to mind was something like... Like you just told he's trying to get the Eminem oh, persona. Him. Yeah. He's yeah. trying to get that Eminem... 2004, like, like think 8 Miles come out about a year ago. You know what I mean? 8 Miles! Yeah. And I was just... All I had in my head was Fig Kid. Think quick and get your dick ripped. And I have your career ending quicker than uh, the fucking tin lids or some shit. <laughs> that's uh, straight away. I can't, that's all I said in my head. And I remembered Barnsley's kids. I just thought of uh, Fig Jam when you said Fig, fig Jam. Fig Jam. Oh, fuck. Fuck, <laughs> I'm, fuck, I'm good. Just ask Do you remember that? Yeah. That I love it on his wiki. <clears throat> fig Kid is an Australian rapper from Bankstown, New South Wales. He's often compared to Eminem. No one's ever heard of him. How? Oh, dude, I, now. I just, <laughs> no one compares anyone to Eminem because Eminem is Eminem. Like, seriously. This is unbelievable. Seriously. This is some... Sh- no one. <laughs> like, and this is 2004, yeah? When he when he hit his, his peak. And they were He's comparing... He's done nothing since 2007. No, man. He's done nothing. But I mentioned... The like, highest peak he had was one song that... Uh, featuring Tech 9. And, and Red Foo. And Foo. And it topped at 50. 50, yeah. So I just said, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's... that's yeah. Uh, See what I mean? That's the Australian music industry right there, man. <clears throat> Try and manufacture cunts and throw them in our faces like, yeah, man, jump on. Remember Gabrielle uh, Chilmy or whatever her name was? Oh, yeah, yeah, From Dandenong? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were saying, oh, she's the new Amy, Amy Winehouse. Yeah, she's gone. Uh, no, man. She did one track that sounded like an Amy Winehouse mm. song. That was it. Yeah. And then they're just gone. Yeah. They're gone. I, dude, what has she done since then? They I literally just disappear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the Veronica's are back. <laughs> they're, play, they're playing at the NFL grand, uh, footy show grand final. <laughs> the Veronica's are back. They're back, baby. <laughs> Get around them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dog. The Veronica's are back. <laughs> Speaking of finals, dude, doggies tickets. Do you see what how much I was selling for? No. Dude, pun, uh, uh, scalpers were picking them up, putting them on eBay. Like a set, a, a bunch of nine of them mm. or ten of them for like ninety k. What? Yeah, like ten k, twenty k, ninety k for <coughs> doggies tickets, man. Not worth it. Nah, nah. How <laughs> fucked up is I'll that? I watch them on TV. Sit at home in the comfort of your house and yeah. just fucking. Yeah. Dude, ninety k, man. Well, I'll be working tomorrow, so there's no chance of me watching it. So I've got to tape it because I reckon that'll be an awesome game. I reckon JWS doggies will be a sick game. Who is gonna win? <laughs> I'm hoping for the dogs, <coughs> but I reckon JWS will get up. Hmm. <laughs> 
Doggies have won two finals in a row now. And they, they've, run, they've run their race like it's over. I, I, I really two hope... Two finals? You've written them off? <laughs> I hope the doggies win the grand final. I really... Just hopeless. I really... No, but I, <laughs> he's just got a smirk on his face. I just hope they win, though. Honestly, I hope the doggies win. <laughs> I think they, I think you know they. what, though? Just, just sorry, man. With Geelong and Sydney, I hope they ride each other off. I couldn't care less. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't care because I, no, I hope Henderson breaks his leg. <laughs> sorry, Johnny. No, we're actually talking about that on the radio. Yeah, so he's, back. Say, he's back this week. Uh, who was saying, uh, I think Darcy was saying that when he heard that Geelong got, gave up their number one draft pick for Lockie Henderson, yeah. he was like, yeah, didn't think it was a good idea, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but he's actually done pretty good but for But they him. had Johnny Geelong, in there. Geelong gave up a number one draft. No, no, as in their first their round fir- pick. Their first round yeah, sorry, yeah. 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 Fir- he was their first round and draft And then pick? we used that to get um, some of the GWS boys. That are all firing. Yeah, like Plowman and Sumner and stuff have done all right. Like, Plowman's done really well for us. He's done good. I can't believe you boys, like, literally turn your back on Henderson so bad. Like, Dude, Henderson. okay, no, no, towards, you know the end, towards the end, he was fucking good, sweet man. Like, can back I, end can for I, I, okay, this is... Let me tell you why. <laughs> Leave Lockie alone. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you why? It's because... He's a good boy. <laughs> because... Leave Lockie alone. You know why? Let me tell you why. Smith, hang on, man. Sorry. You know what's funny? Hard target too. The one young kid whose name is Billy or something in it, right? I swear to God, he's a Billy or something like that. Billy? He played Lockie Leonard in the TV series for the book. What? Yeah, do you remember Lockie Leonard? Yeah. The, yeah, it was, a, it was a novel we would have had to read in high school, like in the first year seven or something. Rings maybe a yeah. dist- distant bell. He, the guy, one of the, the youngest actor in that movie... Played Lucky Leonard, and you're like leave Lucky alone. That's a, that, that's a name that would be like around the twist. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Big, big, big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why I hate Henderson. I don't hate him. Okay, I just yeah, you I hate, hate the, him. I hate the way he went about it, trying to leave Carlton. Okay, he had a bitch right about it. First of all, you're a grown man. Okay, you're a grown man. You're an AFL footballer earning four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a year. You don't need your mother. Backing you up in your fights, all right? <laughs> Maybe you're, she just forced her way in and he's like, Mom, stop, shut up. No, <laughs> no, because <laughs> all the boys and are here. <laughs> he's in the change room. A rooms. few games, you know what? A few games before, <laughs> he actually stopped playing as Carlton just didn't play him because if he got injured, obviously his trade value would go down, yeah. right? He was so shit, he wouldn't, he didn't care. Like, I saw the difference in him. And I'm leaving Carlton. Why? Because you're a bitch. That's, I'm, I just, I can't, I can't, like, wait till the end of the year at least, like, just wait, like, play out the season, like, you know, do the right thing, play out the season, and then make your decisions with your management and all that kind of stuff. And that brings me another dickhead, Joe Watson, all right? He's playing again. Dude, hey! dude you know what pisses me off? How they treated him like the, the, the second coming? Yeah. <laughs> like, he's back. He's a convicted drug cheat. And they're treating him like, oh my god, is Joe going to play again? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, but it was the same thing with Heard. Mm. When Heard, that year when they all went, went down, yeah. and they all took the sword, yeah. at the end, at the, at the fucking yeah. BNF at the end of the year, yeah. he was coming in on like the fucking team's shoulders, like, yeah. 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 Then the following year, when they caught the axe, he was nowhere to be seen. And then Bob Thompson was on everyone's shoulders, yeah. like, Aah! Yeah, like where's Hurdy now? A club cr- crazy horse giving fucking blowies at the glory hole. <laughs> club crazy horse giving blowies at the glory hole. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like crying while he's doing it. Yeah, but I just like yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm, I just don't like Henderson. <laughs> it's weird though. Job's apparently got a missus in New York now. Of course he does. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he's, lost been there, he's, he's been there for a year. He worked at a cafe. Yeah. He lived like a normal life kind of thing. Yeah. He's like fair enough. That's not what I'm bagging him about. Yeah. But he he came back. Made him wait till the end of the season, yeah. like literally till a week before yeah. trade week Have starts. Everyone, has everyone forgot about his brown line? Is he going to give it back? Yeah. 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 Give it back, Job. <laughs> Do the right thing, mate. Give no, it back. He won't. No. He, won't, he won't give it back. That thing's tucked away in New York under the mattress, mate. He's not giving it back. <laughs> Can you imagine, like... <laughs> Just looks at it at night time before bed. <laughs> they, go to, they go to, like, the council, like, the meeting, you know, it's like, all right, we feel that he should... Uh, Mr. Watson should return the Brownlow. Flash to Joe Watson. He's in his jocks, holding the Brownlow in front of a mirror. <laughs> you were once great. I'll never let you go, I'll baby. I'll never let you go. <laughs> <laughs> Job. Oh, fuck him. Anyway, the football's... Yeah, who do you guys reckon is going to be in the grand final? Grand final? Yeah. Um, who do you reckon will win? And uh, As in, not who will win the grand final, but who do you reckon will be in it? 
Who's your pick? I, I reckon I, I'm, I'm going to say it'll be the Cats and fucking GWS. That's probably my pick as well. Yeah. I want the Doggies, but I think they've run their race. You know what, man? Like, Sydney, Sydney dominate. When they dominate, they dominate. Like, does that make sense? Yeah. If they're off, they're yeah. a shambles. Yeah. But when they're on... They're unstoppable. Geelong have the ability to come back from games. Like, they'll turn a game on its head. The thing that worries me is Geelong lost to, like, a lot of lower teams, like Carlton and stuff. Yeah. So, it's... that That's the problem with Geelong, though. Like, is it, no, it's not a problem, but that's the thing. Geelong can be down in the game and then just suddenly turn the game on its head. Yeah. Whereas Sydney, yeah. if they're shit, they're shit. Yeah. I don't know. That's how I feel. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a footy expert. <laughs> what's just going to happen? It's going to be an all-Sydney grand final. <laughs> Sydney versus GWS. Yeah, well, which, but that's the thing. It, hypothetically, if it's a Sydney versus GWS grand final, where should the grand final be played? MCG. Yeah? Personally, I feel it should be played over there. No. Okay, why? Okay, this is... This, okay, we're here for Mr. Wright. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. I just think it makes sense. Supporters are over there. Just... I don't know. It's probably not that... Oh, I yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. No, no, just... It's your yeah. opinion, man. You yeah, no, I don't know. Like, I just... I don't know. You're not I, just feel like, I just feel like that's what I'll it should I'll judge be. you. <laughs> Put a trade. St. Nicholas glaring yeah, at me over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes different on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you feel that the supporters are there. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. What do you feel? You should be the MTG. Why? It's been played since the start of the start of the game. As in, like Evo- every evolution. Game played there. Evolution. So, so you, do you feel that Asians and blacks have no place in the <laughs> film? Yeah, like just N- right, Nick. That is racist. <laughs> right, right. Everyone <laughs> else, like, like no, no comment. Just because he said that it should be played in the G, because that's hey, how it's been. Saint Nick. Because game, where else... The game ev- evolves in every way. Why not? Can I give Why an not? example? Example. Where yeah. else <clears throat> are they going to get 100,000 people in the stadium? ANZ Stadium, where they can't even fill the NRL grand final? Like, they fill it up with 40,000 people? Yeah. He's got a great point. I remember with the... Yeah, with like, the what was it? Uh, sta- um, State of Origin. State of Origin. When Which like, is like the biggest... Like It's probably just as big as a grand final. Like, that's clash of the... Yeah. We got a bigger crowd here in Melbourne for State of Origin than they did over there. In Melbourne. And that's what the Premier of Victoria said. He goes, if you want to have... Uh, An if event. You want, he said, if you want to have a top, uh, the highest um, crowd for, for a rugby game, bring it to Victoria. Bring it to Victoria. <laughs> so, he said something like that. It took a game in Victoria to give your national, your state code yeah. its highest crowd ever. Dude, it's they hilarious. sold out, like, immediately. They sold out immediately. And not just thing, I think it's the experience. Like, growing up as a kid... And if you're a serious footballer, your whole idea is to play at the MCG on the biggest day of the year. Like, that's... Do you know what I mean? Like, to play at the G is like a kid's... Like, the kid didn't grow up saying, I'm going to play grand final at the Gabba. (laughs) Do you know know what I mean? Like, it's... You play at the G. Or they didn't grow up saying, I'm going to go play the grand final at Eddie Had. Or anything like that. Or at, like, Princess Park or whatever. Do you want to play at the G? That's 100,000 people. It's a Coliseum. Fuck your dreams. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck your dreams. (laughs) Such a heart. Just a heartless man. The only way they could play it in Sydney is at ANZ Stadium. And it's not, they won't get the, like, it'll sell out, right? But it won't be that that same atmosphere. The ground is shit. I went and saw, um, uh, when Tottenham came down to play Sydney FC, whatever, and Mm -hmm. I went to Sydney. And I went and saw them, and the stadium just doesn't have that atmosphere. It's not that. Was it full though when you went? Oh, three quarters full. And, but that was a soccer match. If you go to NRL, like you go like, um, if I watch a little bit of rugby here and there, like if it's on TV, I'll just, you know, with my eyes shut, whatever. Like we, they'll have rivalries, right? Like say the Canterbury Bulldogs versus fuck, I don't know, Parramatta or whatever. And they'll get like a crowd of like 30,000, 35,000. Yeah, if uh, yeah. Carlton Essendon or Carlton Richmond or yeah. whatever, it'll City. be a minimum of like 55, like on a bad like night. Yeah. yeah on a bad, shit night. Yeah. yeah on a shit night. Playing shit. Yeah. yeah. Normally it's like 70, 70. Yeah. 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 And that's my point, is it's got to be here in Melbourne, no matter who's played. But look, uh, Sydney and West Coast played the grand final here. Yeah, yeah, Do you know what I mean? Like, so it, it, it's the home of football, a- AFL. It's the home of Aussie rules. Interesting take there, mister. <laughs> <laughs> but on a, in my, I love Wave, I miss Waverley. Waverley was a cool ground. I, I love Waverley. I love going to Waverley. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You went? Yeah. I, we used to go to the baseball every week there, see the Waverley Reds. You went to the baseball? Yeah. Big baseball fan. There's, there's a baseball oh, league man, here. Like the baseball oh, there's a my. baseball league here. And yeah, they moved to uh, like uh, Altona or fucking Lavender. Are you serious? Yeah. What are they now? The Altona Stingrays or something? <laughs> uh, just the idea of going to a baseball game in Melbourne is just. Oh, dude, it was big. Like Waverly Reds. I know. Man. There's a, I know there is a baseball league, but just I yeah, don't know no, anyone. I don't actually know anyone that participates. It'll follow. Is it? The Melbourne uh, Blue Jays. <laughs> just, nah, my family's right into it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do you know any other families that are into it? Like our... Your group, like our, your circle. Our, my family's, like, parents' best friends, they were, like... Yeah. yeah. Re- really? So it was, like, my dad, him, and then me and my best mate. Did you know anyone that went to baseball? I didn't know there was a baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly. We're not honestly. taking the piss. No, I'm just, no. like, oh, stunned. I was, school, like, massive, massive, massive baseball When I was at fans, school, like, like primary school and stuff, we used to play like a T-ball, you know, like, on Fridays, we went to school sport and stuff like that, and there was this one kid, man, they were touting him. They were actually at 12. People from America were coming over to watch this kid. And he'd yeah. like smash us every time. And you'd see this kid, man, who was like six foot. <laughs> 12 bro, years old, six and, foot, and just hitting for the home. Man, just smashing this thing. And he actually, I yeah, reckon he got tobacco. Scared. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he got scouted, man, because he was something. But that's the only time I ever thought of baseball because everyone was saying, oh, this kid, his name was Jay something. <laughs> like Jay, J-A-Y. Like, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. typical baseballer name, you know, like. I did. I had a Jay baseball Malone. bat. I bought a baseball bat. A yeah, but glass. that's for another reason. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not to play baseball. Funny, funny thing is, he's not actually wrong. <laughs> that baseball bat actually got broken, not by me. Someone borrowed my bat and it got broken on a car. Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah. I'm not even joking. I'm not even... I wish I could make that up. When man. you see a, a, a ethnic kid like ourselves... <laughs> When you're younger, walk into like a sports mart and buy a baseball bat. <laughs> it's not because he plays baseball. He doesn't. He doesn't want to play ball. Yeah. Oh, do you play baseball? Play what? <laughs> t- t- I'll be honest. Base mate. what? <laughs> uh, I. I'll tell you what, man. I copped a baseball to the face at full pelt. Ouch. Yeah, I was probably 13 years old. Ah, do you know who threw the ball? Marcelo. He was mentioned it before. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, full circle. Uh, I remember name. I was getting ready to go to Taekwondo lesson, man. We were out the back of the park in mm. uh, my mum's joint, and we were just throwing the ball around, and he's fucking just <clears> turfed <throat> it from, <laughs> I don't know, 20 metres away, 40, like, not even 20 metres away, man. Ball was just going... Oh, that sound, that rattling sound in your brain. Dude, just a bang. Just massive, massive fucking bruise on my head, man. Pop the cricket ball to the eye. It's about to be the same pain. Yeah, grade six, man. Fucking... What is going to play cricket? Like... You're at South Oakley. Kids didn't play cricket, right? Oh, we played cricket. And the guy's like, oh, get in, like, get into bat. I'm like, all right. And the keeper's like, oh, you know, don't put a helmet on because it's a spinner. It was a hot day. He's like, you're going to, like... <laughs> spinner. This guy spins the ball, man. Hits the edge of my bat, trains my face. <laughs> I was just gone I'll tell you what, on man, the ground. I'm, one of my saddest moments growing up, man, one of my most devastating moments, I was all about basketball, you know, like growing up, man. Like, there was nothing I didn't know about the sport. I lived and breathed it. Me too. Basketball, baseball. Grade six athletic tryouts, like for inter-school sports, yeah. They made you try out for the sports. Like, I don't know why, but they did. I went straight to basketball. I got to the last round. And this genius teacher, we were, there was one teacher who was like tall, always wore like blue athletic pants and always had like a whistle around <laughs> yeah. her neck. Like Miss um, Pummel Horse from The Simpsons. Yeah, yeah. Like, ex- like that, yeah. man. Right? She always hated me for some reason. I never had her as a teacher in mm. like the normal classroom setting. Never. Walk past the corridor, she gives him a dirty look. Did she always give him dirty looks? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, man, but she always fucking hated me. That's why you were never in her class. She hated you. Dude, she hated me. <laughs> I'm telling that kid you. over there, I don't want him. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's a bad kid. She was fucked, right? <laughs> grade six, grade six, we had, um, like, the tryouts. Got to the last round of basketball, and she started running drills to, like, pick away, like, who was going to be in the team because there were too many kids. Like, she was running drills on, like, fucking 11, like, how old were we? 96? I was like... Yeah, about 10 or 11. 11. 11. <laughs> you know? Like 11. I was 11 years old. She was running fucking drills. And then she's like, okay, you need, to, you need to drive past these two guys and get it in. <laughs> and dunk it. Like, literally. That, that was the drill. I had to dribble around two guys, like two other mm. guys that were trying out. So it was like a two-on-one situation at 11 years old. I'm like, okay, no sweat, right? I played against these guys all the time. Okay, cool. Whatever. Dude, they tripped me over. Like, I went to drive in between them, like, sort of, sw- like, sh- uh, slalom through them. Yeah. I got tripped over. That was a full setup, dude. Dude, they, tri- they tripped me over. The I hit setup. the ground, like, skin both knees. Ugh, you oh, know? And the teacher's just like... And uh, I th- yeah, dude, uh, I'm thinking, back. like, foul, you know, start again, or fuck broken you. Broken his ankle. Whatever. <laughs> dude, she's like, mm, okay. And she's and like, that's it. And she turns to me and she goes, um... You should go talk to Mr. Such and Such over on the Cricket Oval and Slut. see if he's got a, a position for you in there. Slut. I was like devastated. I'm standing there looking at her. It's like five minutes to go in all the athletics tryouts, like for any sport. 
I just got booted off the basketball team because I got... Just got majorly technical fouled. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone... Just got wiped off the floor. I was, I was shattered. His face. I was shattered. My tears... Like, my eyes were... <laughs> you grab on his face. I was bleeding from the chin. <laughs> I swear, man. I swear to God. Like, I was, my eyes welled up. I was shattered. Everyone's like, what's wrong? And like... I'm walking, make the team. <laughs> I'm walking from the basketball courts to the cricket team. Walking, limping. Yeah, limping. <laughs> and everyone's like, well, where are you going? I've I got to try out for cricket. What do you mean? What happened to basketball? I didn't make it. And I'm like, what? Like everyone, I still remember yeah. it. Everyone was like, what the fuck? I got to cricket. <laughs> Man, like this is after the team's been picked and everyone's done. Like the day's over. And I've just gone over there and all the guys that are in cricket are like, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? Should you be in basketball or something? I'm like, didn't make it. Why not? Like, everyone's asking the same questions. Yeah. Even the fucking guys running the, the cricket were like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing here? And the guy looked at me, the coach or whatever, he's like, we need someone that can bowl a bit, bat a bit, and uh, field a bit. The all-rounder! I'm like, great. I was like the 12th man. Yeah, because like, it was the end of the day. Like, the ring in. <laughs> not because I, I was shit, no. but just because the team was filled. Yeah. I'm like, fucking hell, man. Yep. Go, all right. I go, I can't bowl for shit, but I can do everything else. He's like, all right, sweet. Dude, one of the first or second games we played, cricket, yeah? I've got, like, silly mid on. <laughs> you know, someone near the bowler. <laughs> Slip. <laughs> this cunt, this cunt has fucking belted it. Like, belted a, a fucking manger of a shot. Come flying right at my head. It's like... <laughs> it's just like the red ball, like... <laughs> I've ducked and I've just stuck my arm up in the air and just caught it between like two fingers. The MacGyver. Yeah. <laughs> felt like my hand was just going to come straight off my fucking wrist, man. Like you just see the wrist <laughs> fall off, fly into the distance, go between the goals, you know. It was fucked up. But that was like my one and only cricket experience growing up, man. Other than playing cricket at the park. That's different with your house. mates and stuff. Dude, yeah. I played for Mountain Gate for like fucking five seasons. Mountain Gator. Were, were you a bowler or a batter? A bit of both. <laughs> All round up. Yeah. Are you the guy that would fill in the slip? I went to cricket camp, man. Come on. Really? Yeah, so you'd, you'd be all right. Like, can, like really. Well, you know what? We should get a, a bat and a ball one day. <laughs> just start throwing at him. Just chuck us. <laughs> yeah. nah, I was a spinner. I was a spinner. I was the off spin. That was the one thing I could do, dude. I could actually spin. I could spin. I could actually spin ball. Because yeah. I had no pace because I, I was a skinny yeah. little kid. But I could fucking spin a ball. I used to piss people off, man. It was the best. Had this really unorthodox style. He's just walking up and just... <laughs> throws them off. Yeah, man. <laughs> I was always better at pitching, like baseball pitching. I was mm. fucking obsessed with baseball, dude. You know, I, like I wonder baseball. why didn't you continue it? You didn't want to... Yeah, lost interest. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. The roller, ring, the roller ring just took over life. I was going to say, dude, do you want to play AFL 9s? Oh, come play with us. Is that indoor? Yeah. No, no, it's it's like indoor, but it's, it's outdoor. outdoor. Yeah. 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 Is it just like I'm... touch or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made him one. He just hit me up the other day, like we all went to school with. And he's come like, play, yeah, come play, the Globo Gym. Play. Do you want to play? <laughs> Call me the Dominator. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> Call me the Dominator, dom- yeah. dude. All of us. Have you seen the size of our team? Yeah, our team's fucked, man. Dude, I'll be the quick fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. Some, cause we're all quite big. Yeah, we, we, some of the boys. Are we need some big. quick played, nimble, dude. Like we went to school with these guys. They're fucking. Yeah. Some of these guys are huge. Like me, Dim, like Whitey, the really, the Whitey really brothers, dude, really Aussie looking dudes, man. Just covered in tats. Covered in tats. Can I give you a score update quickly of the game? What game? Geelong's in trouble. What's the score? First quarter, twelve minutes gone. Sydney's four two. Geelong haven't even scored yet. Ooh, Ooh. they have not even. Sc- Sydney's on. Do you know what? Do you know what? I was watching the Whitey Sydney game them. last week. And I just saw a close up of Buddy, like monster, monster over like eighty guys, kick a goal on the run on his unpreferred foot, <laughs> then just like choke slam some guy running back to the <laughs> centre bounce. And I messaged my brother in law, like, dude, Buddy's a unit, man. Like, he is honestly, like, he's, he's just, he's just. That everyone forgets about Buddy. Another one. They are in trouble, mate. Yeah, they they nothing. Holy, came shit. with a game plan. Yeah, dude, that is. Yeah, that's fucked up. They were saying you really need to shut down like Geelong's back because like their back's been so like Terry, uh, Harry Taylor and um like whatever and right and that they're fucking so good. The only one that's doing anything is Dangerfield. Like as in possession wise, got eight possessions so far, but Ooh. everyone else has done nothing. Tippett's got two goals. Parker's got two. McLean's got one. Buddy, you know what? Buddy hasn't even really done anything yet. Wait till he starts hitting the ball. This is, this is turning ugly, man. <laughs>